pleasure and honor of introducing a marvelous young lady. Her name is Miss Regina Quay. <laughs> I have the distinct pleasure of introducing Regina Clay. I got a little excited there because I see her coming out. And Regina is a single parent. She has two wonderful children. And she has a plethora of knowledge, skills, and abilities. And today she is going to talk to you about her dream. She, she had it in a bag for a while. And she said to me, I want to make sure I read this how she said it to me. She wants you to find hope in a mindset in the middle of a storm. You ever seen a storm, you're in a storm, you're in a boat, just picture yourself on a storm on a boat and rocket, well she's going to take you through her process, her storm, her experience, and she's going to help you get to your next level of success. I check. Oh, there it is. There it is. How is everyone? Good. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to meet you. Ebony, right? Maria. That's my girl. That's my middle name. Maria. Marina. Well, I'm happy to be here today. I really, really am happy to be here today. Because how many of you know that right here, Right where you are right now, it's your time to shine. It's your time to shine. It's your time to move from where you are to where you're supposed to be. Even right here. Because let me just tell you, I was in college back in 1980, blah, 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 uh, back in 1980 something, and I was about to graduate. But guess what? How many know? So when I was back in college, I got caught up in some stuff that you can't even imagine. I had a drug addiction back in college. And I was at the point that I was about to graduate. My parents had come from Maryland to Virginia. My whole family, my grandma, and they posted those grades, and I had failed a class, and they were like, oh, you, you're not getting a diploma today. And I was like, oh my goodness. What am I going to do? See, my parents knew that something was wrong, but they didn't know what was going on with me. So, fast forward, I did get the college degree. I did end up completing the college degree, and I completed it in December of that same year. But and at that time, I met my first husband. We got married, and we both continued to use drugs. Our entire 18 month of our marriage, that's what we did. Yes, I'm a college graduate, but I was caught up, caught up. So for those 18 months, our life was absolutely crazy and miserable. I had, so in that time of that marriage, of meeting that man, I had a 250 person sit down, crab imperial for Lay Mignon wedding that my parents put on where they spent $80,000 for a wedding. In the receiving line, people were coming to give us both drugs. Come on now. My parents had no idea what was going on. So for those 18 months, it was empty. But I was still shining because I had this beautiful wedding. Right? But I was still empty. I was empty. Many times when you use substances or you're in an addiction, it's because something is empty inside of you. I had everything. 
everything. I had my parents. I had two, I grew up with two parents in the household, my brother. We lived in a nice neighborhood, but I was still empty inside. Does anybody know what it's like to be empty inside, yet have everything? Empty. I was absolutely empty. I left that marriage, I divorced, I went into recovery, I moved because I was like moving to a new city. Let me make a change and move to a new city. Come on, somebody. How many do move to a new area because you're like, oh, it's going to be better there? But I did get better there. But guess what? So the college educated woman had to live in a studio apartment. I had to take a bus because my parents were like, we're not paying for a car. I had to take a bus downtown Philly, because I lived in Philly. I lived in West Philly, had to take a bus downtown to Philly. And guess what? I worked the 11 to 7 shift as a front desk clerk. Oh yeah. And guess what? I went to that job every day and loved it. So I'm just here to tell you. So fast forward, 15 years later, I was in recovery, everything was going well, I was doing well. My life was beginning, I bought a house. This is all before. And guess what? I went back to that love situation again. Married a second time. Had my first daughter, had my first child, my daughter at 39 years old, have then married a third time. Oh yeah, I've been married three times. And had my second child at 43 years old. Hello? <laughs> but guess what, I'm gonna tell you this. Right now, today, while I am here, while I'm embarking upon my speaking career, I live in a two-bedroom condo. My kids share the same room. And less than two months ago, my lights were cut off. Hello, somebody? Can anybody relate to that? Lights cut off. But guess what? It was still my time to shine. And it's still my time to shine today. And it's your time to shine. And you are going to shine. In the midst of the storm, you still are going to shine. I have an empowerment series that I'm offering. And I'm giving this to a person that we connected because we live in the same area. And so, I'm going to walk off the stage for a minute and give it to her, and then I'll come back. But thank you. It's your time to shine. It's your time to shine. Okay. Woo! And right now, I have the opportunity and the pleasure to introduce to you Lisa Hutton. I just met Lisa. Lisa's from the Tampa Bay area. She's right here in the Tampa Bay area. And she's going to talk, she talks about finding joy at work. Woo, Lord, that's a tough subject. But I know she's going to bring it and she's going to help you today to find joy at work. And I am blessed and honored to call her friend. Bless you. Who Reinhold Niebuhr is? <laughs> 